Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a stepped, grouped report with subtotals and grand totals from very basic. We have created the same type of report by using report wizard. But in this video, we are going to start from scratch. We are not going to use the wizard at all. So let's open one of the solution that we have already created and uh, I have created this report uh, to show you what exactly we want to create so here is the report that is tapped so if you see here we have uh, this Asia Europe and North America regions and then uh, these are the detail so if you have uh, the details starting right next row uh, from the group uh, that's called stepped and uh, here uh, we have grouped them already by region so you can see that Asia Europe and North America I have added uh, the total by region so it can be count by region I call the total by region in this case items sold uh, uh, for each of the region that's there and then uh, I have grand total at the end so this is where we are uh, heading we are going to create this report from scratch so let's go ahead and uh, create the report first of all let me show you the query I'm going to use so I have this table called total sales total sale table and this has some column sale person name and I have alias s1 as the first name and uh, I have sale person uh, last name that I have alias uh, last name then I have product name item sold and sold date let's another add another column so in this table we have actually few of the column let me copy this one and let me show you what we have in this table and uh, we have a sold price as well so I'm gonna add the sold price uh, price to this uh, query so we can use that one as well sorry sold price this one now our query is ready so we can use this query to build that uh, report so copy the query and go to the SSDT SQL Server data tools so this project uh, is uh, already created and uh, we are gonna add a new report so go to the reports tab right click here and uh, add a new item In the new item select the report we will be creating a empty report and I'm going to call this one stepped group report so let's keep this way now add once we add that it is going to create empty report so here in the report data tabs we see data sources and data sets there are other fields we can use but here we are concerned about these two tabs so already we have the shared data source and here it is giving us another option in the report okay you want to create a new data source now in this case we don't want to create a new data source we want to use the shared data source as we are reading the data from the same database so I'm going to use in the existing one so I'm going to call it a use shared data source reference and here I will be selecting the sales shared data source is a data source that can be used in multiple reports so if you are extracting data from the same database you will be using the shared data source instead of embedding in each of the report and then when you deploy it you have to change in each of the reports so don't use the embedded data sources if you are pointing to the same database there is no point of using that here you can rename this one so we can call this one we can call this maybe reference and say sales you can call whatever you like so hit ok now this reference or pointer is created to the shared data source now next part is creating the data set right click here add new data set and we have a shared data set and embedded shared one that can be used in a different reports but here we want to use this data source only for the sorry data set only for the uh, this report so I'm going to select the data source and then provide my query that's going to generate this data set one so let's rename we call it D set and then call it total sale give a proper name to your data set if you have multiple data sets it's good idea because then you will be confused okay which data set is coming from which table so maybe you start using some table or some uh, nice name that will help you to find out okay okay, uh, okay. so data set uh, this total sale is coming from uh, these tables so hit okay 
now we have the fields ready and we need to create a, a report if uh, you have lost this uh, report data here you don't see that here no big deal we have designed that's where we will uh, design our report in the preview we will preview our report and if you don't see those uh, report data no big deal go to view and then uh, report data is right here so click here and this will bring this uh, um, report data uh, window so and you can start using it the, there is another uh, control uh, you can call it the toolbox uh, and uh, that uh, uh, gives us all those uh, table matrix and rectangle and uh, every other items that we need to use in this report if you don't see that as well doesn't matter you go to the view and uh, get that from here so once you have it then you can uh, pin it now we don't uh, need to use that one we can always right click here and say insert and then use uh, the item we need to use in this case I'm going to use the table so once I have the table here I can move this table once uh, I click on and four head arrow is right here so I can uh, just uh, click my um, actually press my mouse here and then move it uh, anywhere I want in now let me bring those uh, fields here first name I want it last name I want it and product name I want it and uh, I want uh, sold uh, item sold and the uh, sold date and uh, we want uh, sold price so okay we don't need this column we can right click and delete this column fine so this is our report this report looks great now let's save this report and preview it and as of now we didn't add any region or we did not add any group we even didn't add the name of the report and we should add so let's right click here insert and bring the text box so in the text box let's put the name so we call it sale report we call it let's call it stepped um, group sale report and now you can do some formatting real quick you can click on this uh, and then you can make it bold I'm gonna make it uh, 12 14 and let's change the color background color so we change to the go green and now we are good and here if we want to click here and uh, then expand or adjust uh, the width and uh, height whatever you want length you can do it here so that's how you will kind of change the width and uh, length if you need to for the text box so uh, this looks good click here and the first name and all that we can also make this one bold once you select this one and the area if I don't like it we can change this one to the anyone what we like uh, I don't know <laughs> this is what I like but anyways uh, you can change uh, to the nice uh, fonts uh, that makes sense to you uh, now the report is ready here uh, sold date is not coming correct format we can go ahead and change the format and that so we can go ahead and go to the text box properties and here in the number we have date and then select the format you like in this case I'm gonna go with this one and uh, now we are all good one thing uh, if you remember we need the region and we totally forgot to bring the region in our query no big deal I wanted uh, I did by purpose uh, because I wanted to show you how to bring that now double click on your data set uh, and uh, you go ahead here and then just put the comma here and say region so that's the way you can delete or add a new column refresh fields and hit ok now click on the drop down you will see the region here what we need to do here we need to add uh, this region as a group so first of all let's uh, uh, once you are here you just uh, sorry uh, click here these three lines if you see here this is where you need to click uh, once you click here and then you will say add group uh, and you're gonna add parent group uh, once you add the parent group it is saying okay group by which column uh, so here you need to select a region uh, and we want to add the header uh, um, of this uh, region uh, so we were gonna do add a group a header so that will uh, add that part now if we'll hit ok before I hit ok I want to show you here so you have row groups and only detail is there once we will hit this ok then that group will show up here so that's one way to add the group as well so you can add from here or you can add from here where I showed you three lines and click right click and do it so hit ok and now you see the region show up right here so you can always 
click here and add a group so the same way what we did here the same thing we will be doing here so on top of the detail if you right click here and add a group and parent group and that will be exactly the same what we did here now we are done with the grouping and you can see that the group is added Asia Europe and North America that's the, the way we have records and this is tapped report as we had added the header now we want to add the subtotal so on subtotal can be on sold price and uh, items sold these are the numbers right so click on any of them first let's say click on this one and we say add total so this is going to add the total by the region okay now we click here again in the sold price and say add total and this is shown up here so this is by region now let's go back and take a look so you see the values are added so 10 and 3500 and whatever the values here for the each of the region now let's make it this one little bit different from the color so click here press the shift key and then select the entire uh, cells once you select all the cells go to the background and select the color in this case uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know just orange fine and uh, now we can also make this one bold and here we can write actually sub total now we can go ahead and view our report so this is how our report will be looking like looks good right and now what we need on top of that we need the grand total so if you remember I was clicking here and then taken uh, I was uh, adding total now if I need to do the total or sum of all those groups so so this is what it is so this is already by the group if I will add this part one more time this is gonna be grand total so see it brought me total right away and the same thing I have to do for this one so click here right click and add total so I can it is called total I'm gonna call this one grand total my choice and uh, the color is the same I don't like this color I'm gonna select press shift keep doing it and then uh, go ahead and select whatever the color you like oh come on don't give me that okay now it is all done let's go back and if you see that uh, for header we didn't even uh, for the header column we didn't uh, even uh, do anything we let's select this entire uh, row for the uh, column headers and then we can go ahead and change the color for them as well so let's make them uh, blue and uh, okay and then uh, if we want to do the fonts we can do the fonts our choice so <laughs> uh, some people are really good in uh, with the design of the reports and uh, they can make the reports really you know looking good and uh, in my case you can see that or uh, tell me yeah this is one fancy looking report <laughs> I'm just kidding it's not but anyways it the report does provide us all the information that we need so we it is called stepped group to sale report we have all those columns here and we have a group by the region here we have and then we have subtotal and uh, then uh, finally we have a grand total so this is how you are going to create uh, your report uh, I recommend uh, if you don't know let's say you, you totally forgot like oh, what to do with these reports and sometimes it's not easy to remember everything you can create the same report with the wizard and the subtotal and uh, grand totals can be added uh, after that so your choice uh, whatever works best for you but once you will start creating these simple reports uh, eventually you will be creating a very difficult uh, reports and very beautiful reports uh, thanks very much and i'm looking forward to see you guys in next video